Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi. I'm sorry, I'm a little. Hi. Hi. Lucy, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I'm going to stay without camera a few minutes because okay. I'm charging my cell phone. Okay, okay. I understand. Don't worry. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. Yes. And uh, people, I'm sorry, I'm a little late. The thing is that uh, I'm not sure if it is my internet or my computer, but one of them is running really, really slowly. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to check on that tomorrow. I'll check the computer tomorrow and uh, I'll see if it is the Wi-Fi or the, the computer. I think it's the computer. It's very, very slow. Yes. Okay, thank you guys for being here. Are you happy? Are you happy? Yes, because yes, it's Friday. It's, uh... Wow, <laughs> she's happy. <laughs> wow, she's very happy. Okay, okay, that's all, that's good, that's good. Yes, people, it's finally Friday. It's finally Friday. It's been a very difficult week. Yes, but finally we are here. Just a few hours to finish it. <laughs> Just a few hours to finish it. And then some Saturday will be here. Okay, let me, guys, let me take attendance. It's ready over here. Adriana Stefan, Adriana Stefan, Adriana Pat Madrid, Maria Turcios de Najarro. <clears throat> no? She hasn't connected yet. Anna, Anna Carolina, she disappeared. We don't know what happened to her. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Present teacher. Yes. Christian, oh, sorry, yeah. Christopher, Christopher Espitia Chipawa. Present teacher. Hi, Christopher. Thank you Hi, for being here today. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Hi, teacher. Hi. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present, teacher. Hello, hello. Hector Francisco Morales. I'm here, teacher. Hello, Hector. Hello. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present. Hello, hello, Isabel. How are you? <laughs> I am feel good. Excellent, excellent. Ivan okay. Petrovich Guzman. He is not here yet. Holman Saul Hiron Sanchez. Present. Hello, Holman. Thank you so much for being Hello. here. Who says who speaks? Okay, let's continue here. Laura Yasmin Portillo Andres. Present. Lucy Natalie Juarez de Ramirez. Present, teacher. Hello, Nelson Antonio Rodas. Present teacher. Hello, excellent, excellent. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. No, okay. Oops. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. No, right, he's not here yet. Okay. Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. Present teacher. Hi. What happened to you yesterday? We didn't see you. I, yes, I can't connect. I was at, in, in my job. Oh, you couldn't connect? Okay. No. I'm sorry to hear that. But what I'm here you? today. Yes, the good thing is that you are here today. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Roberto Carlos Hernandez. Present teacher. Hello, hello, Roberto. Hello. And uh, Rosalina Alvarado. Not here yet. Let me just... yeah. Okay, people, there are, there are a few things to do. There are a few things to do and there are a few grammar things to review as well, okay? Yes, because it's Friday. 
And we got a couple of activities to do as well. Yes. Now, let me see. Yes, Oscar, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Yes. I was checking the WhatsApp group and I saw your messages, okay? For the ones that are not uh, available today. I know, okay, I know, I know. Yes. All right, let's continue or let's start. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Where is it, where is it? I always do that. Okay, here, we are here. Yes, this is the, the beginning of unit number two. Hey, can you see the book? I'm sorry, I did not ask you. No, yes? Yes. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, yes. All right, uh, we, were, we were talking about a lot of things this week. And uh, over here, you see the beginning of the first, second unit. Okay, and this was the first topic that we started. Do you remember the name of this topic? Guys? The product testing. No, no, here, here. Here, the grammar, the grammar topic. Look, this one. This is the first, this is the first grammar topic that we talked about or that we practiced. So what's the name of it? Do you remember the name of it? No? Complex subjects? Sorry? Complex subjects? I can uh, really understand you. We don't. Okay. We were talking. We were talking about quantifiers. Okay, quantifiers. Yes, and how quantifiers affect the number or yeah, the number of the subject. Yes, and how the subject affects the verb form. Okay. Yes, that's one. That was one of the things that we were talking about. Yes, or basically we were talking about plurals, and singulars, and plurals. Okay, and we're gonna see a little bit about that just right now. Right now, right now, right now. Here, look at it. It says here how to achieve verb verb agreement with complex subjects. Okay, I told you. I told you that there was. That there was, a, or there has to be, there must be, there must be, uh, how can I say, a matching, okay, or a perfect matching between the subject and the verb, okay? Yes. If the subject is only one person, the verb is going to be singular with the exception with the pronoun I, okay? That one, no. Okay, that one is I, clean, it goes normal, all right? It doesn't change, okay? But when, when, uh, when the subject is only one, remember the verb has to be only one. It means the verb has to be singular. And singular is with S or with, e, with ES or IES. Well, we see one, one example over here. Look, the first of the decisions, the first is one quantifier, okay? Yes. Decisions is a subject. Well, all of it is a subject. It may seem sing, uh, plural, but it is not plural, okay? Because we're talking about one. And that's the subject verb agreement. If we have a singular subject, we need a singular verb. If we have a plural subject, we need a plural verb, okay? But we cannot mix them. We cannot mix them, okay? It doesn't work like that. It is not correct if you mix them, yes. Oh, complex subjects. Excellent, Christopher. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I couldn't understand you. <laughs> I apologize. Okay, yes. But we are gonna go, we're gonna go to the list that I have because I have a list, remember the list? And in this list, you can see more, more options or more quantifiers. 
Yes. And some of them are used with only singulars, and some of them are only used with only plural. Let me just show, show you that, and then we're going to practice a little bit about that. Let me see. I think it's this one, if I'm not mistaken. It has to be this one. Just give me a give me a moment. People, I'm starving. I'm starving. I need to eat something. <laughs> or drink coffee at least. Okay, this is taking too long. Almost done. Almost there, almost there. Okay, let me show you. Okay, we are here. Look. This is the topic or, or a topic that that appears on page number, I can remember the page, but it's the first, the first grammar topic of unit number two, okay? It's this one, what is subject verb agreement? Okay, I already told you what, 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 what it is, but let's read the definitions that we have here. We got two definitions or two ideas that can help us better understand what we are talking about. It is when the subject, look at this, it is when the subject and the verb form coincide grammatically. You cannot use a singular subject with plural, the plural verb, sorry. Or you cannot use a plural subject with a singular verb form because they don't match, okay? They don't get along, they are not friends. <laughs> okay, look, it is important that your subjects and verbs agree according to number, singular, singular, plural, plural. You are more likely to encounter problems deciding which form of a verb to use when the subject is modified by a quantifier. And the quantifiers are down here. And the quantifiers are the ones that modify everything, OK? With the quantifier, we can realize if the, the subject is singular or if the subject is plural, all right? That's how it goes. Okay, let me read them to you. The first of, many of, some or some of, none of, a great number of, a great deal of, every one of, a number of, an amount of, a bunch of, a lot of, or a lot of, each, neither or neither, enough, all, no, both or both of, any of, a majority of. There are more, of course, there are more, okay? Yes, this is just a, a, a short list, all right? Uh, do you have any questions about this one? Do you know the meaning? Or do you remember the meaning? Yes? We got it? Teacher, Nader. Excuse me? Nader, Nader, oh, I don't Oh, you can say neither. You can say neither or neither. Neither, neither. Neither, neither. Both, both are correct, okay? Neither or neither. Yes, it means ni in Spanish, ni. 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 Uh, no tenía casa ni dinero. Uh -huh, exactly, or something like that, something like that. Uh -huh. Un mal ejemplo, pero es el que encontré. <laughs> well, or you can say that, that it significa ni, también significa ni un. Okay, yes. I I it. Thank you, teacher. In different, in different contexts, you, you will see the, 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 this word. And uh, it has several meanings and several grammatic use, uh, grammar uses that you will see. All uh, right. Yes. Did you wear, is similar is similar uh, without? No. No, 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 no. It's not it's not similar to that. No. 
Nothing, nothing. Okay. Okay. Uh, was there another person about to ask something? Teacher, este, now es como suficiente. Yes, sufficient, sufficient, enough, enough. Okay, enough. No. The G and the H is f, the F sound. No. Enough. No. Uh -huh, enough, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. More questions about the vocabulary? No, we're good. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Your, pro your, your pronunciation for O and F is O, not off. Where, where, where? And, and, and a lot of, of these this, uh, sentences. Off, O, you pronounce is O. Yes. It's like V, O. Uh -huh. The yes. first O, many O, some of like a like a v it's like a v yeah, exactly exactly oh. if you say if you say off if you say off you're talking about the preposition that modifies verbs when you want to turn off something okay yes oh. that would be that that's the difference of of and off off is the, the, oh. the one with, with two with double f okay Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Right. No more questions? I don't know if Ivan is talking, but he's moving his mouth. His microphone is off. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> microphone off. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay, uh, a majority of uh, meaning in Spanish? Una gran cantidad de. Una gran cantidad de. O la mayoría de. Yes. Ok, thank you. Yes. Ok, let's, let's continue then. Let's continue. Oh, let me, let me just tell you beforehand. The ones that are difficult to understand here are these ones. Wait, wait, hold on. Or the ones that we had problems with were these ones. Each and neither. Each and neither were the ones that gave us a lot of problems. Okay. Do you remember the use of each and neither? Do you remember the use of it? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. I'm just trying to, to remove something from here. <laughs> right. Okay, very good. Let's take a look at some examples. Look, we got some information about the project is important to continue with it, okay? Some information, singular. Okay, we need a singular verb. Is is a singular verb. We are fine over here. We're good, we're good, okay? Now, another example is this one, look. Still singular, still singular. Look, the amount of money, money is singular. We can never make money plural, never, right? So we got here, we got a singular verb, okay? Was is a singular verb, yes. Let me continue. Look, one of the most important factors of technology it's, uh, it's, it's never ending improvement and innovation. Look, one. One is singular already. One of is singular. So we need a singular. So we need a singular verb. Is is a singular verb. So we have a good subject verb agreement. Okay, the other one, look. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Pressure is a word that we cannot make plural. Therefore, we need is or we need a singular verb. Okay. We cannot make the word pressure plural. Okay. It's always singular. The same as information. We can never make the word information plural or money. Okay. We cannot make them plural. 
Okay. Let's continue here. Look, we got more examples. In sure. this yes. Sorry. Uh, the previous, previous, uh, uh -huh. and the last sentence. Mm -hmm. A lot of, a lot, uh, for me in Spanish is a, is a many, many, many things, a lot. Mm -hmm. What is the difference, uh, or oh, how I can understand if singular or plural in this case, a lot? Because oh. I, I, if you, for me, I have a lot pencils, pencil, or I have a lot uh, a shoe. I don't know. A lot for me is a many. Okay. Why is it singular? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Remember that a lot of or a lot can be used for singular and plural nouns. Okay. Mm -hmm. An example can be I drink a lot of water. A lot of, in that case, means bastante, bastante, singular. I drink a lot of water. Yes, I drink a lot of water. Another example can be with plural. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a lot of cell phones. I have a lot of cell phones. A lot of cell phones means bastantes teléfonos. So uh -huh. we can use it with both, okay? You have, to pay you have to pay attention to the word that is next to a lot of this word. You have to pay attention to this word. Oh. Yes. Huh. And pressure, pressure is not, is not plural. Uh -huh. with, with, with this, this word, I, I can understand if it is singular or plural because, mm -hmm. uh, because talking about pressure is one, one thing. Yes, and we cannot make it plural. It's always okay. it. Yes. Okay. I get it. Thank okay. you, teacher. Excellent. Now look, let's uh, continue here real quick with this part, with this the, the plural form. With the plural form, we got one example with some areas. As you see, areas is plural. Singular is area. We know S, all right? Plural, it's areas. So that means we need a plural verb need is a plural verb remember that the singular verb is needs that's the singular verb needs okay yes and we don't need needs because we have areas okay yes let's continue here let's continue let's continue look another one both the boss and the supervisor are out of town to reach agreements with potential companies both the boss and the supervisor are out of town to reach agreements with potential companies. We got two people. We got two people over here. The boss is one and the supervisor is the other one. So me, we need, we need, we need a plural verb. R is a plural verb. Okay. And both is a quantifier that requires two things. Okay, or two nouns. Yes. Let's continue, let's continue. A bunch of files have been piled up on the secretary's desk. That's what it says. A bunch of files have been piled up on the secretary's desk. A bunch of files. Files, plural. If it is singular, if it were singular, it would be like, file that would be the singular form okay but it is plural so we need a plural verb the verb here is piled up but the structure requires here a plural auxiliary and have is a plural auxiliary okay yes yes let's continue here let me just uh move on real quick here all right, we did this already. We're not going to do that. We're gonna go back here. Okay, now I would like to hear some examples, people. I would like to hear some examples. Try, please, and practice. And then we have a listening activity. Guys, can you try with examples? Can you can you show the 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 word the list? Okay, yes, 
the list, the list, uh -huh, uh -huh, the list. Please, teacher. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, thank you. Okay. There you go. There you are. Copy all in this moment. Okay. People think about one, think about one and practice. This topic is, is very confusing. It's very confusing. So you better practice it. Nobody? Me teacher. Oh, yes. Excellent. Uh, many of the activities in the platform are difficult. Okay. You said many of the activities or many activities? Many of the activities. Okay. Yes. You can say many of the activities or many activities. Both the, both are correct. Okay? okay. So many of the activities in the platform are difficult. Okay. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much, Christian, for your participation. Holman. Yes, of course. Uh, <clears throat> quiero hacer un, uh, uh, ser uno with enough. Okay. Uh, I, I want to try. And um, that uh, uh, this this t-shirt is a no. Uh, the shirt. The shirt is a no. Uh, no, the sen the sentence is correct. The sentence is correct. Okay, you said this shirt is enough. It is correct, yes. But uh, you're supposed to you're supposed to use enough at the beginning of the sentence. At the beginning, for example, for example, enough money, enough money was collected in the marathon. Enough enough money was collected in the marathon. Enough money was okay. Yes, you have to use enough at the beginning. But you can, the, the oh. sentence was correct, okay? Was correct, but, but not, not the topic that we're, we're studying. <laughs> yes. Okay, anybody else? Okay. Yes. Oh, sorry? Es que, bueno, yo la primera vez que, eh, que vi el no, creo que fue en otro, en otro topic. Entonces, mm -hmm. yo lo recuerdo con ese topic. Quizás mm -hmm. me confundí. Yes. Pero... Yes. In this case, in this case, we're using the quantifiers at the beginning of the sentence, or we're using the quantifiers as subjects. Okay. Yes. Enough money is the subject there. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, uh, Hector was was raising his hand. Um, and I don't know if it's good. Mm -hmm. uh, on of weekday has off. I'm sorry. One of weeks day has off. Como uno de los días a la semana tiene libre. Un, un día a la semana tiene libre. But that the structure is not correct. No. Will, will. Uh, will. I don't know. Well, hold on. I'll help you. Chair, questions? Yes. Like that. I'll, that like that sounds better, better, uh, Hector. Look at the chat. One of the days of the week is off. One of the days of week is ah. Mm -hmm. It's a complicated structure, but <clears throat> but it yeah. is it is correct. Yes, like this. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Uh Ivan, you say you have a question. Yeah, uh, the the expression uh, qualifies uh, your use and uh, the uh, connections uh, sentences or or the first sentences uh, greater. I don't really really get your your question, Ivan. Can you repeat, please? Okay, o sea, estas expresiones de de qualitative. Cantidad. 
se de cantidades se utilizan para conectar oraciones, frases o, o para empezarlas? No, in this case, to start them. To start mm. the sentence. To start the sentence. Okay, let me go here. Look, they start, they start the sentence. They start the sentence like here, like this. You mention the quantifier and you mention an object, okay? Or you mention a noun, quantifier versus uh, plus a noun, some information, and then uh, this quantifier modifies modifies the verb form. Okay, that's what we do. We're not connecting two sentences. It's only one sentence. It's only one. Okay, we have the subject. All of this is the subject. Okay, verb and complements. That's how it goes. We don't connect two sentences. We, it's only one. And in this case, as you were asking, Ivan, we use the words or the quantifiers at the beginning. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're doing, yes. Okay. I got it. Thank you. Yes. Your, your camera is, is acting weird. Like, I don't know. It's changing. All right. Are there more people that would like to practice? Teacher, another sentence. Yes. Is uh, I I want is will be good. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, the first of the line cleans the room. Okay. The first of the line. Okay. The first of the line cleans. The cleans room. with us. Yes. Yes. With, uh, yes cleans correct. the room. Yes, it's correct. It's correct. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I win. <laughs> okay, yes, you win. Excellent. We are a champion. Anybody else? <laughs> He's a champion. Okay, yep. I, okay, I, I, I do. Okay. The first Teacher. of the test results should be reviewed by the doctor. Repeat it, please. The first of the test results should be reviewed reviewed and by the doctor yes the example is correct but in this case in this example we know we don't really we don't really apply the 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 rule because should should is always uh, in the same form we don't modify should it will be uh, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if the subject is singular or plural should is always going to be the same should should it doesn't change but the example is correct yes okay yes teacher yes any Good. any of us uh, couldn't understand the topic <laughs> okay 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 <laughs> couldn't understand the topic another clear example with with couldn't couldn't is always could could we never change could Okay, we can use a singular subject or a plural subject, and could is always going to be the same. Uh, yes, Holman. Uh, again. Okay. Uh, well, uh, a great number of foreigners come to the to the El Salvador. Yes. Yes. A great number of foreigners come to El Salvador. Foreign people from different countries, okay, extranjeros, yes, all right. Is there anybody else? No, okay, that's okay, that's okay, no problem, all right. Now, let me stop sharing this. Teacher. Hello. Can you, can you give an example about both of? Both, both of. Yes. You, yes. could you give? Yes, yes, I can do that. Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, well. There you go. That's one example. Both my parents have wealthy families. Wealthy? Yes, wealthy. 
Uh, can you please check if it is uh, if I have spelled it correctly because I don't really remember if that's how it is written. Well, teacher, but in the sentence, uh, it's necessary to agree the the word the um, of both of my parents. You can say that too. It's basically the same thing. Let me write it here for you to see because it's it's, it's basically the same thing. Okay, both of my Yes, there you go. Both of my parents have wealthy family. And it's the same thing. Okay, the difference is that we're using all. Okay, we're using all. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a difference. Oh. But it doesn't alter, it doesn't alter the meaning. Okay, it's the same thing. And you Sorry, Antonio. Okay. Look, we got both, both, we're talking about two people, all right? Both my parents, that means plural. Okay, so that means we need a plural verb. And have is a plural verb, okay? Yes. Antonio, do you understand? Yes? A little teacher. Remember, with both, you need two things, two. Okay, only two, no more, no more. <laughs> So both is always plural. What is happening? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> I cannot uh, hear. Another one, both of my pets, okay? Yes. Both of my pets live in a, live in a kennel. Okay, yes. Both of my pets, live in a kennel, okay? Mis dos perros, mis dos perros viven en una casita. Kennel es una casa de, de perro, okay? Kennel, yes. yes. Okay? We're not, we're not going to say, no vamos a decir ambos, ambos, okay? I know, I know the word both in Spanish is ambos, but in this case is, is like los dos, okay? Mis dos mascotas, like, oh. mis dos padres. Yes. All right. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Teacher. Hello. I have a question. Okay. Uh, that uh, is uh, always, always in in the beginning. I'm sorry. What? The 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 quantifiers. No, 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 no. It's, it's, that's that's the, the topic okay it's the lesson we are we are learning we are learning to use quantifiers at the beginning we can use quantifiers in the middle of the sentence yes you can say you can say for example some of the books are old at the beginning okay or you can say <clears throat> i am i am going to bring some of my books Yes. But I exceptions. No. No, not really. Not really. Not really. So, okay. Yes. Okay. More questions? Okay. Very good. Very good. Now, we're going to continue. Guys, get ready. I'm going to share with you here in the chat some questions that you need to answer, all right? Mm -hmm. Let me share the questions with you. Hold on, okay. This is wrong. I'm numbering, I'm numbering the questions. Okay, yeah, just give me a second. Because I did I didn't number them before. There. 
I just numbered them. Let me share them with you. All right, go to the chat and look at the questions. Look at the questions. Can you see the questions? Yes. Yes, okay, yes. Thank, you. thank you. Okay, read them with me. The first question is how does one feel? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Let's read the indication too. It says listening comprehension, instructions. Listen to a conversation about two people talking about launching a new product and answer the questions accurately. Number one, how does one feel? Number two, is the product already in the market? Number three, what characteristics does, want, does Juan want in his product? Four, according to Juan, what are the results he has obtained? Five, which tests do you think one has implemented? Six, is the product ready to be launched? Seven, what type of test do you think Rose is going to implement? And the last one says, what do you think Rose implies when she says your kindness means, oh, sorry, your kindness tells a lot. Do you have any questions about the questions? <laughs> No, we're good. But teacher. Okay. Sorry. For answer for answer this question. Uh, first uh, uh, we we need we will listen the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Yeah. Teacher, uh, the question is, uh, which, which, which conversation? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> no, the conversation is ready. Good morning. Good morning. I have it ready here. It's ready. Ah, yes. we need listen. Yes. Well, man, hello. Uh, the last you kind kindness does a lot. What is? That's the question. <laughs> the meaning. That's the question. <laughs> Esa es la pregunta. Look. Uh, what is the, the meaning? Yes. Es que ese, esa es la pregunta. ¿Qué quiere? La pregunta dice, ¿qué piensas que Rose quiere decir? Y dice la expresión ahí. O implica. Uh, implies es como se People, how do you say imply in Spanish? I can't, I can't remember. Imply, imply. I can't remember in Spanish. Insinuar, yes, that's the word, that's the word. Sorry, okay. ¿Qué piensas que Rose insinúa cuando ella dice? Esa es la palabra acá. Okay, so I cannot give you the answer. <laughs> I cannot tell you because, because uh, I will give you the answer. But kindness is in Spanish, I'm, I'm, I'm a really okay. okay. That's what it is. Okay, guys, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, but I have a question. How are you going to see the questions? Sorry, teacher. How, how are you going to see the questions? I'm going to play the audio, but how are you going to listen to the question? I mean, see the question. In my case, I take a picture, teacher. Okay, took a picture, okay. We have a window with, with the meeting chat, in my case. Okay, okay. All right, let's do this, let's do this then. Look, I'm sharing the, 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 the... now you, you don't see the question, right? Guys, do you see the questions? No, I don't see the teacher. <laughs> okay. no, that, that, was, that was the, 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 the problem here, because uh, I have to share the audio to listen to it. I can post the question in the chat, the WhatsApp. Okay, that will help. 
This is is better. Do it, please. Thank you, Lucy. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. it's good. In the chat, I I I see it. You can see. Yes, teacher. Good idea. Let's see. Okay, hold on. My fan is off. I need to turn it on. <coughs> Okay, let's just start. People, listen to this. Oh, wait, wait, I didn't share the sound, so you will not listen to anything. Let me share the sound. Okay. Let's, let's, let's test it, let's test it. Let's see if it works. Let me know if you listen clearly. Juan, good morning. Rose, hey, good morning. Can you hear? Right. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Let, let, let me explain something else that is very important too. The conversation is between Juan and Rose. All right. And I cannot, like, like you know, I already know that I cannot get audios from the internet because you know it's it's uh, for copyright. I cannot do that. But I used an application to record the conversation. I created the conversation. And, uh, and uh, I used an application to record it, okay? So you're going to hear Juan and then what Juan says. Or, and then you're going to hear Rose and then what Rose says, okay? Yes? Se escuchará que dicen Juan y que dicen Rose, okay? Después de Juan, ahí habla Juan y después de Rose, ahí habla Rose, okay? I hope we don't get, get confused. Good morning. Rose, hey, good morning. Are you okay? You look pretty tired. Juan, I'm too stressed. I have been working on the new products for our less popular brand. And it has been a really long process. Rose, that sounds tedious. Juan, it is. But it is also good. I mean, we are taking too long because we would like our product to be impactful, useful, appealing and convincing. Rose, what's the product called? Juan, it is a product for shoes. It's a shoe cleaner. It removes all dirt magically. Rose, are you telling me that this cleaner makes the shoes look brand new? Juan, yes. You got it. Rose, how do you know that this shoe cleaner removes all the dirt instantly? Juan, because we've given consumers the chance to test two to three different cleaners and our cleaner has gotten the best results. Rose, that's amazing. What else is missing to have it ready? Juan, we still have to run more tests. Rose, I see. Hey! Would you mind if I tried the cleaner? I have some dirty pairs of shoes in my house. One, of course. Here, take two cleaners, a brush and a small towel. Rose, do I need to use water or soap? One, either. You just need the cleaner and the tools I told you about. Rose, thank you. Your kindness tells a lot. I hope your shoe cleaner gets the success you are seeking. Juan, thanks a lot. Your words mean a lot. Rose, my pleasure. I'll hit the road right now. I will let you know how satisfied I am after using the shoe cleaner. Juan, I will be looking forward to hearing from you soon. Rose, bye. Juan, bye. Okay. Did you get confused, people? Yeah. A little the beginning, bit. A, a little bit. More or less, teacher. A yes, lot yes. of. <laughs> because the, he so good. is the same so voice good, for so the bad. two. Exactly, exactly, Lucy. I'm sorry. It's the same voice for two, two people. 
but but you have to you have to listen to this to this carefully because before before they met it mentioned the name okay and after this the conversation yeah uh-huh the, the 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 voice or the man uh, in the in the voice mentions the person's name before just one then then Juan speaks or says something and then rose like uh, okay that's why that's why but also I think I believe it is a little fast <laughs> and uh, I don't know what to say let me see if I can I can uh, make it go slower how can I do that people <laughs> Is it possible? It cannot, it's not possible. One. Rose, hey. No, no, I cannot make it go slower. Okay. Uh, did you finish, people? <laughs> At least yes, teacher, the first one. The, the first one. Okay, the first one. The first one. Okay, okay. Do you want to you play again? <laughs> yes, I will do it right now. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> Here. Let's do this, people. On the count of three, two, one. One, good morning. Rose, hey, good morning. Are you okay? You look pretty tired. One, I'm too stressed. I have been working on the new products for our less popular brand. And it has been a really long process. Rose, that sounds tedious. One, it is. But it is also good. I mean, we are taking too long because we would like our product to be impactful, useful, appealing and convincing. Rose, what's the product called? One, it is a product for shoes. It's a shoe cleaner. It removes all dirt magically. Rose, are you telling me that this cleaner makes the shoes look brand new? Juan, yes. You got it. Rose, how do you know that this shoe cleaner removes all the dirt instantly? Juan, because we've given consumers the chance to test two to three different cleaners and our cleaner has gotten the best results. Rose, that's amazing. What else is missing to have it ready? Juan, we still have to run more tests. Rose, I see. Hey, would you mind if I tried the cleaner? I have some dirty pairs of shoes in my house. Juan, of course. Here, take two cleaners, a brush and a small towel. Rose, do I need to use water or soap? One, either. You just need the cleaner and the tools I told you about. Rose, thank you. Your kindness tells a lot. I hope your shoe cleaner gets the success you are seeking. Juan, thanks a lot. Your words mean a lot. Rose, my pleasure. I'll hit the road right now. I will let you know how satisfied I am after using the shoe cleaner. Juan, I will be looking forward to hearing from you soon. Rose, bye. Juan, bye. Rose, bye. Juan, bye. Okay, people, did you finish? Three or four questions or five or all of them. Just one. Just one? Okay. How many do you have? Three. 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 
okay, okay. That's okay, that's okay. Yes. Do you want to listen to this audio again? Or do you want me to go straight to the, the script? I have the script and we're going to read the script to see how much we understood. Listen again. So what, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to, lead, to, to play the audio again or do you want me to share the script? Listen again, teacher. Listen again? Okay, let's listen to this again. And then we're going to go and we're going to look at the script or the real conversation. The written conversation, sorry. Okay. It's here, it's here, look. Guys, let's start then. One, good morning. Rose, hey, good morning. Are you okay? You look pretty tired. One, I'm too stressed. I have been working on the new products for our less popular brand. And it has been a really long process. Rose, that sounds tedious. One, it is. But it is also good. I mean, we are taking too long because we would like our product to be impactful, useful, appealing and convincing. Rose, what's the product called? One, it is a product for shoes. It's a shoe cleaner. It removes all dirt magically. Rose, are you telling me that this cleaner makes the shoes look brand new? One, yes. You got it. Rose, how do you know that this shoe cleaner removes all the dirt instantly? One, because we've given consumers the chance to test two to three different cleaners and our cleaner has gotten the best results. Rose, that's amazing. What else is missing to have it ready? Juan, we still have to run more tests. Rose, I see. Hey, would you mind if I tried the cleaner? I have some dirty pairs of shoes in my house. Juan, of course. Here, take two cleaners, a brush, and a small towel. Rose, do I need to use water or soap? One, either. You just need the cleaner and the tools I told you about. Rose, thank you. Your kindness tells a lot. I hope your shoe cleaner gets the success you are seeking. One, thanks a lot. Your words mean a lot. Rose, my pleasure. I'll hit the road right now. I will let you know how satisfied I am after using the shoe cleaner. Juan, I will be looking forward to hearing from you soon. Rose, bye. Juan, bye. Students, bye. Okay, <laughs> people, hello. There were, there were some parts in this listening that were a little fast. Yes, I gotta say, I gotta be honest with you. Okay, a little fast. I, I, uh, next time I'm going to make it slower, okay? Yes, I apologize. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. Now we're going to take a look at the script, but before we do that, I wanna hear some answers. And then we're going to see how how close you were. All right, guys, can you share? Uh, well, let me share the the the. It is here. Look, it's here. It's here. What what answer? What answer do you have for number one? How does one feel? My internet is slow. Let me turn off my camera for a few, a few seconds. Okay, guys. Is careful. Okay, he feels stressful. Right, stress. That was easy, right? <laughs> yeah. was, yes. Okay, he feels stressed, right? What about number two? He says, is there is the product uh, already in the market? I think no, because she, he said he needs to take another test. Okay, guys, do you agree with that answer? 
Institute. I'm agree because because oh, sorry. Okay. It hasn't been. Let me see. Thrown out sounds weird. I launched the normal one. It hasn't been launched yet. What about this one? What characteristics does one want to one in his product? Do you get any of it? Or did you catch any? Teacher, I just listen useful and convincing. Okay, useful and convincing. Impactful, useful, convincing, and applying. Mm, it's it's not that one. It's appealing. Appealing here. Okay, let's see. The other one, according to Juan, what are the results he has obtained? No, not this one. Uh, the product uh, remove ex instantly the um, uh, how do you say it? la sociedad the dirty, dirty. the dust right. I think uh -huh, the dirt instantly like a magic no. steadily instant instantly. I don't, I don't know what is the I heard, pronunciation. I heard uh, about the um, the shoes will be look like a new a new ones. Okay, the shoes. Yeah, he said that. Look brand new. Okay, okay. All right, both both they mentioned both. They mentioned both. Okay, the other one. Which test do you think one has implemented? I seen the Sherwood uh, Perry comparison. Okay, paired comparison. Uh huh. Only that one? Okay, that's okay. Use, use test. Okay, the use test. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. The next one. Is the product ready to be launched? It's not yet. No. Okay. No. no. They uh, need more tests. Not yet, right? It needs more, more testing. It needs more yes. testing. Mm -hmm. What type of test do you think Rose is going to implement? Proof. The Rose. use test. Use test. The use test. And the last one, it says, what, the, what do you think Rose implies when she says your kindness means, kindness means a lot? Kindness means a lot. And she hope the shoe cleaner is have the successful that he wants, one wants. She hopes the cleaner. The shoe cleaner have the su successful um, what Juan wants. Gets sounds better than, than have in this case, gets, okay. She hopes to, the shoe cleaner gets the, what do you say, Lucy? Recognition? Successful. Oh, yes. Success, success. Ah, success, okay. But Juan wants, okay. I need to volunteers to help me read. Yes, yes, Magdalena. Oh, I'm sorry. I think that I understand something like uh, um, your kind of expressed idea uh, mm -hmm. means that you will success. Okay. In this expression, your kindness tells a lot. Your your expression tells that you will successful i don't i don't know i think i understood that same to that okay 
Okay, there you go. Uh, the expression means that she thinks Juan will be successful because of his audit. Okay, okay. Or behavior towards okay. employees or towards consumers or customers or people around. Now, excellent. I need two volunteers to help me read. Let me try to turn on my camera again. Hopefully this time it won't give me problems. Okay, Magdaleno is one and another person who can help me. Okay, and Christian. This is the conversation. Let me make this a smaller. Can you see it? My apologies. I can see it. <laughs> My apologies. Yeah, I know, I know. Teacher. Hello. Uh, how I can say to Choco? I'm blind. blind. I'm blind. blind. <laughs> Or, or you can say I'm getting blind. Okay, let me no, just. No, I am. Uh, I'm blind. Ah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm blind. He don't Mickey. He don't Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, me people, I'm, I'm blind. I'm getting blind. This, I'm, my case, I'm getting blind. Yes. I need to wear glasses. Yes. Hopefully the next month I'm going to get a pair of glasses. I'm going to go to the to a doctor. I don't know uh, how to call it to the eye doctor to see uh, if he can run some tests on my eyes to get glasses. I need them. All right, we got we got the conversation here. Can you see the conversation, people? Yes. Yes. Now, okay. Here we go. Okay. Magdaleno and uh, Christian. Okay. Maybe I, I will be John, Juan. Hey, good morning, Rose. Hey, good morning, Juan. Are you okay? You look pretty tired. I'm so stressed. And I have been working on the new product for our less popular brand. And it has been a really long process. That sounds tedious. It is, but it's also good. I mean, we are, we are taking too long because uh, we would like our product to be impactful, <laughs> useful, appealing, and convincing. What's the product color called? Oh. It is a product for shoes. It's a shoes cleaner. It removes all their magically. What? Magic, uh, magically. Third, third, hi. I'm third. sorry. To, I'm trying to interrupt you. Third and over here, it was tedious, tedious. Okay, tedious. tedious. Third and magically, Cle. magically. Whenever Whenever you see the Kali ending in, a, in an adverb, the pronunciation is going to be Kli. Physically, Kli. practically, basically, practically, etc. Kli, all right? It's okay. Yes, excellent. I would try again. I would try again. Okay, okay. you can do that, no problem. It is a product for, it is a product for shoes. It's a shoe cleaner. It's removed oil. <laughs> it, it removes all dirt dirt magically 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 no, magic. magically uh -huh. magically yes magically. okay dirt magically okay are you telling me that this cleaner makes the shoes look brand new yes you got it how do you know that this shoe cleaner removed all the dirt instantly? Because we have given consumers the chance to test two or three, three different cleaners and our cleaner has gotten the best results. Hold on, hold That's on. amazing. Um, that's amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm just, just trying to. Here. 
Okay, that's amazing. What else is missing to have it ready? We still have the room more tests. I see. Uh, I need to move this picture. I. Okay, I, I, I see. Hey, would you mind if I try the cleaner? I have some dirty pairs of shoes in my house. Of course, here, take two cleaners, a brush and a small towel. Do I need to use water or soap? Neither. You just need the cleaner and the tools I told you about. Thank you. Your kindness tells a lot. I hope your shoe cleaner gets the success, success you are seeking. Thanks a lot. Th thanks a lot. Your words mean a lot. My pleasure. I'll hit the road right now. I will let you know how satisfied I am after using the shoe cleaner. I will be looking forward to hearing from you soon. I will be looking forward to hearing you, hearing from you soon. Yes. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Okay. okay. Well, bye. Okay. Now. If you have any questions about the vocabulary, let's let's go back later on. Let's go back to these ones. Okay. Do we get this one correct? Yes. Yes, right. It's it's okay. This one is okay. What about the second one? We got it. Okay, yes. It hasn't been launched. And this one, what characteristics does one want in his product? Useful, convincing, impactful, and appealing. Perfect. Yes. According to Juan, what are the results he has obtained? It removes the dirt instantly and the shoes look brand new. Okay, yes. Both are okay. All right. Which tests do you think Juan has implemented? Somebody said that the paired comparisons test and somebody said the use test both have been used. Also, uh, they have used the blind test, okay? That one too. They have, uh, they, because they mentioned that they gave people three different cleaners with no name. So, yes, we, I moved it. Oh, no. Okay. Is the, okay, this one is correct. What type of test do you think Rose is going to implement? Yes, they use test. Perfect. And what do you think Rose implies when she says your kindness means a lot? Okay, yes, and yes. Both are correct. All right, people, excellent. You are, you are incredible, amazing. Good, good, fantastic. Now, let's go uh, back to the conversation to see if you have any questions about the vocabulary here. Is there a word that you don't understand from here or an expression? No? If there aren't any, no, don't worry. I'll just go back. No, okay, let's go back then. Let me stop sharing. Excellent. And guys, go to the book and open it on page number 21. We're going to go to page number 21. Yes. Okay, it is here. I'm sharing the book Teacher, with you. Excuse me. Yes. Excuse me, teacher, could you share the conversation? Oh, uh, yes, um, of I don't know. I can do it. I haven't closed it yet. Here. It is there. Look. Um, yes. Okay. <clears throat> I want to take a screenshot maybe for compare and study the vocabulary. Oh, uh, there you go. Well, I cannot. That is impossible. 
What about that? Can you see it? Yes, I can see. You cannot see it all though. Well, let me re remove the last part because by is not necessary. Okay. Uh -huh, there you go. I get that. You got it? Yep. Okay. The other part is this one. I get it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So we're here on page number 21. Okay, on page 21. Oh, quick reminder, quick reminder, take it easy on the platform, all right? Take it easy because we're we're moving slowly, okay? Uh, we're moving slowly. So I will let you know, it, it has to be done or completed by the next week, all right? If you haven't finished, just follow, follow, uh, or continue doing them, okay? Now, unit number two, we continue with it. Today, I will be able to organize a plan to run a focus group to test a product. This is for Monday's class, okay? It's down here in, uh, for Monday's class, yes. Let's continue here. And we have some questions that we're going to discuss. This ones, we're going to discuss them. Is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted by the customer? Consumer, sorry. Would you like to be a product tester? Have you heard about the term focus group, guys? Let's talk about this, about these questions. Is there any way, is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted by the consumer? Guys, what do you think about this one? Do you think there's a... Yes. Okay. Yes, we yes that, that's why you test the product to know. Okay to know the acceptance. Okay, okay, that's fantastic, excellent. Uh, anybody else? <clears throat> no? Okay, teacher. Uh, yes. The, uh, the predicts uh, or products is uh, I, can, I, I can be told with an American study. Okay. Ava, excellent, Ava. Thank you very much for your participation and for your opinion. Anybody else? Teacher. Yes. Maybe not to 10%, but it's probably have a good, good seller. Sell, seller. Mm -hmm. Buena venta. With, uh, with, Sell. with the. Sell. the, the a sell. good sale, Sally, right? A, Sally, good, Sally, the word. a good sale, but uh, you can predict if uh, the product is, oh, um, lost my mind, <laughs> my mind. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, it, it depends, he says, it depends, he says. Okay, actually it's right, okay. it, we can predict or not okay we can do it we cannot do it. it's it's fine it's fine uh excellent thank you very much Hector. Uh, i don't know if there was somebody raising a, a hand or something teacher yeah oh yes uh well i think always uh there there are people uh a group of people to to accept a new product always but i think the quality and the price is very important okay all right all right fantastic fantastic excellent thank you very much for your opinion holman uh well somebody's raising his hand Montaleno, yes teacher i think so because um, because because if if we start, if we were the study, um, no, sorry, I lost my word. I think so. Uh, I think so because uh, because we use the the different methods, the different tests. We we can we could predict if the product will be accepted. 
for for client. We we can predict. I think so. Okay. All right. All right. And yes, yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Angelina, for your opinion. It's teacher. amazing. Yes. Somebody said teacher. <laughs> Me, teacher. Okay, Christian. Wait. Yes. Uh, I remember that I received a survey in some case that me uh, preguntaron they asked me uh, they asked me for some characteristics for a new product mm -hmm. and that is a way to know if the product will be accepted for the market and the customers can buy or the customer consumer is going to buy the will buy the the product mm -hmm. Uh, answering to the people if the product is okay or or it maybe can be in different way mm -hmm. okay okay with with a survey you can you can predict if it is possible to mm -hmm. to be good for the market okay okay so by asking by asking it is where where you will obtain or get most of what you need okay might be negative might be positive you just have to ask people what they think and they will tell you what they think yes magdalena i have a question of vocabulary um, when you when you are doing a survey yes. you you take a little part of of population what is the name for, for mention this part? In Spanish is la muestra. La muestra, la población muestra mm -hmm. for, for the survey. I don't know what is that in, in English. Uh, the population sample. Population sample. Population sample, thank you. Yes. Okay. More, more opinions or questions? Look at the other one. Would you like to be a product tester? People, would you like to be a product tester? I don't know. It's covered my, my, my answer, but when you come came to the supermarket, uh, the display, it, it, it's some, a lot of, Good products and then uh, involuntary do a uh, tester no because uh, yogurt cheese and something the display say please take a sample and after this ask about what do you think about it you know <laughs> okay okay i think i think being being uh yes lucy i'm sorry for for uh putting in i think I think not all the time is a good a, a good way to test some products because um, they're in and testing and we don't know if we have some secondary effects or something like that. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's true. It is true. Yes, we might we might have some uh, some uh, side effects. Yes. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Good opinion, Lucy. Uh, Okay, Ivan, yes. You wanna say something? No, no, um, I, for example, uh, today uh, they come, they come, they came? Llegaron, llegaron, came, yeah. But, uh, mm, yes, yes, who, but who? Quien, quien? Okay, uh, they came to live, uh, a uh, sweet, uh, sweet snap uh, to the the to the apartment mm -hmm. in the company. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, uh, nos dieron, nos dieron. How do you say in English? They gave us. They gave, gave, gave us. They gave us um, products. Uh, it's not. Uh, we are we are tasted. Uh, with my este, par, este, parents mm -hmm. y, y, y 
in this uh, in the seconds um uh, Genamo feelings, feelings, uh, uh, reports. Uh, ¿Cómo nos había, si nos había gustado el sabor? If we, uh, if we had liked. If we had liked. The okay, flavor. Thank you. The flavor. The flavor. The flavor. Uh -huh. Okay. Only that. That's okay. fine. Yes. Fantastic, fantastic, excellent. Uh, Miss Molina, yes. Yes, teacher. I I would like to be a, a food tester, maybe, <laughs> or a or a, a bed tester and sleep all day. <laughs> a beer beer tester. No bed bed tester and sleep all day. <laughs> I don't know. I have read many articles about about bed bed testing about the, the sleep yes. uh, the sleep tests the uh that people get paid for testing beds or for, sleep, for sleeping for a couple of months. They give you a lot yeah. of, I don't know if it is real or not. Yes. Uh, uh, I don't know if, if it's real, but but sounds interesting. Or maybe um, the people who test video games, I think it, it's fun. Yes, it is fun. Of course, it is fun. It's fun and exciting. Yes. 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 <laughs> All right. Excellent. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Anybody else? Do you want to be a tech? Uh, 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 <clears throat> excuse me. You want to be a product tester? Teacher. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes, Go ahead. Because, because uh, sometimes uh, you buy a new product mm -hmm. but you 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 don't know what is a, the real quality because something uh, or just you you see the 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 photos uh, or videos the product but uh, something it's important because you uh, you don't you don't know the the quality the real quality of the product. Okay, okay, excellent, Homan. Thank you very much for your, your your participation and your opinion. It's that the quality is super essential, <laughs> like extremely essential. It has to be there all the time. Yes, uh, Mr. Escalante. Hello. Hey teacher, I would like, I would like to be a product tester mainly at the supermarket when, when people, I don't know what is the name to, to call the, uh, to call the her, are giving, giving uh, samples of any, anything, for example, cheese and and I don't know, meal, something for for it, something <laughs> to eat. You wanna be, you wanna be like Pamela? She wants to be a food tester. Yes, I am an expert. You know, would be would be cool to be a, a, a spicy food tester. Spicy I don't like that. Spicy food is delicious. <laughs> no man. It's like I don't know. How do you how do you say hippo in English? Sorry? Hippo. How do you say? Hiccup. <laughs> Hiccup. <laughs> Como hip hop. <laughs> uh, in the chat, hiccup. Hiccup. Okay, yeah. I get hiccup when I when I when I eat something spicy. Impossible. Mainly, mainly hot, spicy. All right, I understand. I'm sorry, man, but spicy, spicy food is delicious. It's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey guys, have you heard about the term focus group? Have you? No teacher. No. It's yeah. like a, a, a team, a work team. 
Uh -huh. I work in, in this type of thing. They um, 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 evaluate or assess any topic and they need to give us some ideas. Okay, all right, all right. Yes, it's it's pretty much what Lucy said. Okay, excellent, Lucy. I'm, I'm going to reinforce that later on. Uh, yes, Mr. Escalante, tell us. Uh, I'm confused. Um, this term focus group, uh -huh. uh, I, I think the idea that is the people who are, who, um, whom we are focusing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes. For example, when I am when I am trying to launch some new products, I have to ask myself. Uh, I have to ask myself uh, who will who will buy my product. For example, is a product for kids, a product for old men, a product a product for teenager for women, etc. Mm -hmm. I think that the focus group is the people um, about I am focusing, I am whom I am working. I don't know. Yes, yes, it is that, it is that. It's what, what Lucy said and what you said. Okay, people, uh, do you have another opinion? No, okay. Uh, no, because I see a person. Sure. Yes, yes. Uh, the, the focus group is for for a take a decision about about um, different thing. In my in my experience, the focus group is for make like a FODA. I don't know how to say it in English. Mm -hmm. That's a sword. Sword. Oh, uh -huh. sword. But in the community, uh, in community with a uh, agriculture farmer, in mm -hmm. farmer, in my experience, and they they talk about talk about uh, crops mm -hmm. or um, or different different topic for for the agricultural agricultural agricultural. Mm. Uh, experience. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, yeah. I use a focus group for this for this um, way. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I understand. I understand. Yes, Hector, exactly, exactly. You have you have uh, provided very good, very good opinions, and yes, they are very, very accurate. Yes, a focus group is la, a group of people. Okay, of course, it's group. Uh, and this group, these people are chosen or are, uh, how can I say this, assembled, okay, for a particular or uh, singular reason. And that is to try or to test a product, okay? Yes, it can be a service, it can be in also a, a, in a conference, in a presentation. In different cases, you can use these focus groups. Now, let me uh, tell you how it works. A group of people go to a specific place, okay? These people can be of all ages. Can, can, they can be teenagers, they can be adults or uh, old people, all right? It's just uh, a group of people, all right? And these people are concentrating on the product, okay? And also these people, they give ideas, they provide ideas, they provide opinions, and their opinion is taken into account. Okay, so basically the focus group is just there to concentrate on what the what what the the person is telling them. Okay, and uh, another thing about this focus group is they have a leader or the moderator. All right, there is a person explaining uh, or describing how the service is or how the product is, and everybody is is a uh, is a. Uh, just listening to this person, okay? Listening and also practicing or using uh, the service or using the product, okay? Yes, that's what it is, all right? Do you have now the, the, the idea? Hello, 
Yes. No se puede haber dicho mejor, Kicho. Ah, oh, okay. I don't say in English. <laughs> all right, all right, excellent. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. I speak a little English. Right? <laughs> yes. Now, down here, the conversation, we're going to practice it for a couple of minutes. Oui. How can I make me up? up here, up here, up here? Hold on. Here we go. Okay, look, read a conversation between two colleagues. They are getting ready to organize and run a focus group study. Let's practice it. And guys, well, I'll tell you later. Let me read it. Have you made any process with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with a target or random samples? In addition, we need to focus on who will be monitoring each group and uh, the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the group, of the product, sorry. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it is, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Yes. All right, that's how it goes. Questions about the vocabulary before we continue. What's many furthermore? Furthermore. In the last paragraphs. Yes. Furthermore. Furthermore means además in Spanish. Además. Yes. Furthermore. The same, the same as addition. Addition and furthermore are synonyms. Yes, more questions? Could you repeat? Yes. Um, could, you, could you repeat the word targeted? Which one? Up, more up. I'm looking, I'm looking for it right now. <laughs> hey, uh, Moises, the second one will be work with target. Field. This one, target, con, con de, you know, D, with the D and target, target. That one, target. target. It means uh, specific, right? Aimed, like aimed, target aim. It means aim. Like, yes. Hello. In the same paragraph, um, almost the end. Monitoring. What is the pronunciation? Oh, monitoring. The pronunciation. Monitoring. Monitoring. Is right. Yes. Monitoring. And and then in the in the last the last paragraph paragraph mm -hmm. the second line design. Questionnaire? Questionnaire. What is the pronunciation? Questionnaire. Questionnaire. Yes, near, near. Questionnaire. What it means? Questionario. Yes, yes. That's what it is. Okay, okay. thank you. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking for something here because I'm, I'm not really sure about something here. I think it's not like that. It's not the way I said it. But I cannot find the information. Jeez, I need to find it somewhere. I will look for it. Okay, hold on. Yes. Okay, more questions? No. In addition, and furthermore, is the topic that we're going to study on Monday. Yes. They are called transition words in English, okay? Transition words. There are more, there are more. We have in addition, we have additionally, we have furthermore, we have moreover, uh, we have besides, plus, and there are many more that we have that they are, you know, for, for uh, paragraphs. Now, people, if there are no questions, we're going to continue. We're going to continue and, uh, you will practice with, with in a group 
or with pairs. And I need you to answer the questions down here. Okay, so you are going to practice in the groups. You're going to practice the conversation. You're going to read it with your classmates. And if your classmates have uh, problems with the pronunciation and you know the pronunciation, help her or help him. Okay, yes. So practice the conversation and answer the questions in part number three. That's what we will do in the groups. Okay, right now, let me create them. Yes. There you go. Guys, let's go. Let's join them. I will be monitoring you. <clears throat> Yeah. One share? Yes, please. Hey, did you see my message? No. The message in, the, in this chat or WhatsApp? No, no, no. Here, here, in Zoom. No. No. No, no. That's no. A weird, I, could, I, I broadcasted a message. Like, let me say hi. Let me say hi to you right now. Let me know if you see a message. Okay. Uh, nothing? Nothing. Nothing. That is weird. No, I was correcting myself because I wasn't sure about the pronunciation of the word. Yes, yes, the word is not targeted, as I said, it's targeted. Targeted. Tar targeted. Okay. targeted. Targeted. Yes, my bad. It's a word I never used. That's why I wasn't sure about the pronunciation in the past. Target is in the present, targeted is the past form. Target is also the past participle form. Okay. Target it. Okay. Let me allow you to, to, to share. Okay. Guys, continue, please. I'm just, I'm just going to the group to see. I took, a, I took a picture of the conversation, Fatima. I have it yes. here. Okay. I, I can start if you want. I Kurt, I meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay. Hi. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yeah. Okay. What is the... Uh, 
pronunciation of forty more. For, for, further, for, further, further, furthermore, 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 furthermore. Mm. Actually, I'm here. I'm here to correct myself. Okay, I was wrong. The pronunciation is not target, as I said. The pronunciation is targeted. All right, targeted. Targeted. R R E D. Al final, targeted. Okay. Yes. That's mm. The real pronunciation targeted. Okay, I wasn't mm. sure. I never use this word, so it's this. Uh, I never use it. That's why. So target. Okay. Yes. Teacher, uh, monitoring. 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 Yes. Monitoring. Monitoring. Touring. Monitoring. And overall. 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 Yes. Overall. overall. In in acu accurate. accurate, 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 uh, accurate. In it, it means exact. Okay, exact, exacto. Okay. In questionnaire, questionnaire, question, questionnaire. Will she? Questionnaire. That's that's the Question. answer. Yes. All right, guys, continue, please. I will see you soon. Okay, teacher. Of sample, select for Hi. the test. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, teacher. Hey, Hector is here. Excellent, Hector. Uh, you asked me earlier, earlier you asked me the pronunciation of this word, right? Well, uh, I have a problem with the pronunciation. <laughs> no. Let me, let, I, was, I was wrong, okay? The pronunciation uh -huh. I, I, I gave you was not correct. It's, okay. I, I wasn't sure. I was like thinking and thinking like, what is the pronunciation? Because I, I, I never use this word. I never use it. I never, never. So it's, it's uh, in the past form, it's targeted. Okay. Targeted. 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 Like, like, targeted. Like, the, like the T E D se convierte en R E D. Targeted. Targeted. Okay, okay teacher. Tar targeted. Tar target. Target is present. Target. Targeted. Past form. Okay. Yes. Okay. Targeted. Targeted. I teacher. Targeted. Yeah. The the last in the Moises turn for there more far 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 furthermore 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 yes furthermore like a Voldemort <laughs> furthermore <laughs> furthermore <laughs> no it's it's a or furthermore. Uh, furthermore furthermore it's suena como una u u e Se llama, uh, I don't remember the symbol in I don't remember the symbol. In este caso no es un no es una u completa, sino que es una una versión de u con la e combinadas. Entonces suena como u e. Furthermore. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Yes, excellent. Did you finish? No. Uh, Not yet. What type of sample is Fernanda? Hey. And in addition, this a uh, and uh, we. I oh know. Permit me. I think you guys uh, excellent. Good call. To find out the over teacher, version. welcome. Hi. Teacher, Hi, teacher, what means find out? Right? This is across uh, a verb, right? How can I tell you this? I realize. Realize. I realize. It's okay. Oh, it's realize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the chat. I, I think it's like. 
No realize. Like, encontrar. Dar, ajá, darse cuenta. Encontrar, find out, encontrar o darse cuenta. Okay, averiguar. Yes. Eso, 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 averiguar. Descubrir. Ajá, ajá. Des Google yes. Translate lo traduce descubrir. Yes, and realize, find out. realize, darse cuenta, ok. Notar, mm -hmm. darse cuenta. Así no, ni son similar. Ok. Oh. Yes. I'm also, I'm also, I'm correcting, I'm correcting myself here. I gave you, I apologize. I gave you the wrong pronunciation of the word. This one, this one, this one. I gave you the wrong pronunciation. The right pronunciation is targeted, All right? Targeted. targeted. Like the okay. This one is the, the TED, TED is R-E-D, targeted. targeted. Yes, targeted. targeted. I apologize. I apologize that I gave you the wrong pronunciation. I wasn't. I wasn't really sure. I wasn't really sure. And designed. And design oh. is right. Designed. Yes, designed. Is it we ed? Ah, designed. Is it we ed? Mm. Mm -hmm. Designed. Designed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Designed. With ed. Yes. Targeted. Find out. It's okay. Target. Get. It's like get. Target. Targeted. Targeted. Uh -huh, exactly. Targeted. Exactly. Targeted. Okay. Did you finish? We're gonna practice. Yep. We we'll finish. Yes, teacher. Part number three. And uh, did you do it? Yes. The question. Okay. And just let me go to the last group and then we're gonna go back to the main session and we're going to share the answer. Okay. Yes. It's okay. Pamela will glad to share with the rest of the class. <laughs> because you you go to sleep. That's <laughs> I'll say my goodness. Hi, have a subject verb agreement quiz. Say, Hi. and then is is is. Uh, I think maybe it's, it's good for for practice, no? Christian? Yes, yes, for practice is, is the best way to to do it. Uh -huh. oh, okay, teacher, how are you? Hi, <laughs> I'm I'm fine, thank you. I'm uh, venga <laughs> corregirme. Yes, because I gave you the wrong the wrong pronunciation. Okay. Uh huh. The pronunciation here, hasta acá, target, get. Target. Simple past, targeted. All right? Targeted. Targeted, yes. Yes. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I went to Google to look for it because I was like, like I never use this word. <laughs> I never use it. <laughs> I was like, how do you say that in the past form? And then I remember, and I remember with T-E-D is red, like wanted. I want it, want it, right? Similar to that. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. I apologize. Yes. No problem. It happens, Thank you, it happens sometimes. <laughs> yes, no, it happens always. always the time. Yeah. It happens, it happens. <laughs> yeah, okay. but I, I apologize. Let's go back to the main session, people, because it's almost time. Okay. Over there, over there we're going to share the questions. Okay, teacher. Let's go back. Let's okay. go We are back and ready to go. <laughs> right, people? Are you ready to go? <laughs> yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. <laughs> and you're like, uh, teacher, I was I was ready in the morning. <laughs> I've been ready since I've been I have been ready since the morning. <laughs> yeah, since yesterday, right? And it's been a long, long week, people. Yes. It's been a long week. I'm tired, I'm tired. You cannot see it, but I'm tired. Why this computer? Oh, okay. We have uh, finished, I'm gonna share the, the, the book with you and uh, please give me the answer to the questions. And then after that, I'll, I'll take attendance. Okay, what am I sharing? Hold on.
It's part number three, pair work, this one. The first question says, how many focus groups will participate in the test? Guys, how many? Three groups. Three groups. Okay, three groups, three groups. Second, what type of sample has Fernanda selected for their testing process? Random sample. A random sample. Random sample. A random sample, right? A random sample. And the last one, who will design the questionnaire? Lucas is designer. Moises, Moises and Lucas. Okay, Moises and Lucas, right? Okay, Moses and Luke. <laughs> Moses and Luke. All right. Moses. Okay, let me just take attendance. Oh, uh, and uh, let me announce the winner. <laughs> According to the attendance list, Today's, today is Lucy's turn to stay. Lucy, can you stay? Mm, no, sorry, teacher. I okay. can't. Maybe okay. next time. It's okay. It's okay. Is there a person that would like to stay? If not, I'm going to choose the, ne the next person right after Lucy. No? Okay. Then let me choose the person right after Lucy, and that person is Magdaleno. Sorry. Okay, fine, excellent. Can we take attendance, people? Yeah. Get your bed ready, okay? Get your bed ready. Just like, ooh. And then you just dive into it. Since Monday, teacher. <laughs> since, since Monday. <laughs> All right, wait. This thing is very, very slow. All right. Well, Adriana wasn't here today. We don't know what happened to her. This person whose name is Anna, is showed up only one time. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Christian Alexander Arevalo. Present teacher. Christopher Spitia Chipawa. Present teacher. Yes, Fatima Denise Aguilar. Present teacher. Gabriel Beltran Pérez. Present teacher. Hector Francisco Morales. Present teacher. Uh, let me see. Present. Yes, yes. Okay. Isabel Hernández. Hernández. Present. Yes. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán. I am here. Yes. Holman. Saúl. Saúl. Yes. Laura Yasmin Portillo. Present. Okay, Lucy Natalie Juarez. Present. Yes, Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Nelson Antonio de Rodas. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero. Uh, Pamela Carolina Molina. Present. <coughs> Roberto Carlos Hernández. Present. Rosalina Alvarado. Present, teacher. Yes. People, what a week. Thank you very much for always being here. I will see you guys on Monday. Have a, very, uh, have a good weekend, okay? Enjoy with everybody, all right? Yes. And be careful, okay? People. I will see you on Monday, okay? Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you Monday. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, you too. You too. Okay. Uh, well, Gabriel is not here really. He's, uh, well, he's not here. <laughs> okay.
So we're here, we're here, or you have this uh, couple of minutes to mention or tell me if you have any questions or problems or complications, confusion <laughs> about the topics that we have studied or about any topic related, related to English. Microphone. <laughs> okay, teacher. Um, sometimes I have trouble with with uh, idioms, with idioms and with uh, phrasal verbs. Um, when somebody tells with tells with me with something like that, I have troubles. If you would uh, share with me some one of them, I will grateful with you. Grateful with Phrasal you. verbs. There are. Yeah. There are many of them. There are many of them. Yes. Yes, I know. I can share with you some some common ones. Uh, if you want, I can write them down over here with their definition. Okay. Let me write and, some of them. And some teacher. Okay. Yes. Uh, when I am using a phrasal verb. Mm -hmm. Why, why somebody use the the noun between the verb and the, um, and the other phrase out of etc. What somebody somebody use uh, use this verb like that? Can you give me an example? For example, I I pick you up. Sorry. I pick you up. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Uh, something possible. like that. That is possible with a specific phrasal verbs. That means that you can uh, use the phrasal verb like, I need to pick up my sister, but you have the option to separate the phrasal verb with the, sorry, the verb with the preposition, and you can include the person there, okay? Some phrasal verbs have that option. And both options or both sentences are correct. You can say, I am going to pick up my mom or I'm going to pick my mom up. Both are correct. Pick, pick up my mom, is, pick my mom up. It is possible with, with um, all of them. No, 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 no. Example, this one run out of, that one is not possible. Okay, there are some of them that are not really possible. Yes, okay. It's a, it, look, this one, drop off. That one is possible. That one is possible. You can, you can include, you can include the person right here. Okay, person. You can include the person there or after off. Okay, or after off. It means tirar. Yes. O caer. Uh -huh, but it's like, no, no, dejar. Yes. Uh -huh. Is the opposite to pick up? Exactly. Yes. The op the opposite of, of the opposite of the opposite of uh, pick oh. up. Okay. Okay. So okay. Drop off. I'm gonna share some of them with you. They are very common. Yes. So get up. I know get up, uh, get in, get out, um, look for, ask for. Um, I know go out, mm -hmm. go in, go up. And what more I know? Look into. Look into, yes. Break down, break, break down. out. What what means break out? Okay, break out. We we got break out. This one, break yes. out. We we be with a exercise. Person. Break break out is a person. Okay, mm, how can I say? Uh, no, it's not a person. Yes, it is a person. It's a noun. A noun. Oh, it's, a, it's, exercise. A noun. it's a noun. Okay, for example, there is the a. Hey, there is a breakout. It means somebody is escaping. 
I don't understood the, the phrase. Oh, somebody is, oh no, no, there is a breakout. There is a breakout. It means that somebody is escaping, escaping from prison. I don't know what is escaping. Escaping, escapando, escaping. Running away. Escape. Running Escape. away, yes, running away. Yeah. 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 That, will be, that will be break break out with, with no separation. But if you separate it, you might have a lot of definitions because there's, an, there's another one that is break out with the hyphen. Yes. The one that you mentioned is this one. Break out means divide something into parts. Yes. Yes, I know. Okay, that one, break out. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Some, me... some word means exercise. Uh, workout? Workout, yes, right, workout. Workout. It's together, right? No, no, no. Yes, no, no, mm. you can separate it. Even you can use the preposition A, work it out. Mm, yeah. You uh, could you use as a verb workout? Yes, yes, we use it as a verb. Example, I work out every morning. I work out every morning. At my bed, maybe. Hmm? At bed. At, I work in, I work out every morning at my bed. On my bed. <laughs> on my bed. On my bed. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Also, listen, listen, listen. All, uh, well, let's review, review them. Let's review them. Run okay. out of. Do you have any ideas about this one? Run out of. I don't know. Okay. Example. I am running clean. Now my gasoline is decreasing. Okay. Run out of in Spanish is quedarse sin. <laughs> okay. It just like run, correr out, afuera of the, correr afuera de, right? Pero no, it's quedarse sin. <laughs> okay. Right. I am running out of friends. I am running out of food. I am running out of time, etc. In the in the phrasal verb, we. Conjugate the verb. And mm -hmm. The verb. Yeah. Okay. For example, running, ran out, mm -hmm. and run runs or, with s. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Dropping, yes. dropped, yes. dropped. Yeah. Something like that. Yes. We yes. can. We can con, con, conjugate. We can. Yeah. We can con, con, Oh, Conju I conjugate, like. conjugate, conjugate. Uh -huh. conjugate. Yes, conjugate. Drop off. So drop off is when you take a person to a place. You take this person from from a place to another place, or you can take a uh, an animal or an object to another place. Okay. The same thing as people. Take off has three definitions. Okay. <laughs> this will, Sometimes it gets complicated because one phrasal verb has several definitions. And it, that's when it, it, it gets difficult. Take off has three definitions. Take off, one of them is when you leave. When you leave or when you I go. I take off my home. I take off my home. Oh, I'm taking, taking off my home. No, you, can right? you can simply say, you can simply say, I'm taking off. Ya me voy. I'm taking off. Ya me voy. Um, yes. Yes. Okay. Take off, okay. leave, or go. Okay. Example A, hey, it's 12 p.m. I'm going to take off. Okay. Means I'm going to leave or go. Another definition for take off is when you are removing clothes from you. Okay. You're taking them off, removing them. Okay. In Spanish, quitarse clothes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clothes and anything, any item, any item, jewelry, you can also take it off. Watch, bracelets, you can take it off, okay? And also when you have a ink, tinta, like all of it, you can take it off too, 
Okay. Yes. Okay. And the third definition for takeoff is when the airplane it's going up. Okay, the airplane is going up. That's another definition for takeoff. Means despegar. Yes. Example: the airplane is taking off. Okay. El avión está despegando. Okay. All right. Then we have use up. Use up is similar to run out of. Okay. Use up is uh, usar. Uh, but how can I say this? Well. Utilizar, utilizar todo. That's use up. Usar todo. Usarlo todo. Like, like. Uh, example can be I have used up, simple past. I have used up my shoes. Como que los he usado hasta desgastarlos. Uh -huh, that's the, the thing. Como desgastar, desgastar, yes. Get along with. Get along with is to have. To have a relationship, a good relationship with a person. Llevarse bien con. Okay, that's what get along means. Example, I don't get along with my ex's mother. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, right. Put up with is one of my favorites. I love this one. Put up with means tolerate, tolerar, tolerate. Okay. Put up with tolerate. Mm -hmm. Okay. One example can be I cannot put up with mathematics. Okay. I cannot put up with mathematics. <laughs> yes. Que no soporto o no tolero matemáticas. Break down, it's to fail or to stop, to stop working. Example, I think my car is going to break down tomorrow. Or I think my car is going to stop working tomorrow. Break down, dejar de funcionar. Yes. Arruinarse. Uh, averiarse es la palabra correcta. That's the, the, the correct word. Averiarse. Break down. That's one definition, one definition. Another definition for breakdown is to, how can I tell you, divide, dividir, divide into parts, dividir en partes, divide into parts. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we got to bring up, mention, mencionar, mention, bring up, mention, okay. But bring up is when you, okay, it's mentioned, okay, mention, but bring up is when you are in a conversation with these people or with a person, and then you remember something, or you remember a person, and you mention the person, okay, and they say, hey, let's bring up, let's bring up the salary raise topic, okay, with the boss in the meeting, okay. Es, es mencionar algo que para cambiar el tema. Ok. Como decimos, hey, ahora que lo mencionas, ahora que lo mencionas, like, ajá, uh -huh, that's bring up. Ok. Yes. Now that you bring that up. Ok. Yes. Also, there is another definition for bring up. It's when you raise, when you raise a kid. Ok. Criar un niño. Yes. Bring up, you raise a person, a baby. Yes, yes. Uh, like a stepmom or stepfather. No, 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 no. No. Not necessarily. You just raise the person. Yes. Criar, just criar la persona. Yes, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't specify if you are if you are the person's mother, the baby's mother, or the baby's father. It doesn't specify that. It just says that it's when a person, uh, uh, how can I say, it? feeds a kid or a baby, and uh, the person or the baby grows. Yes. Break out. I told you what it means. Escape. Run. Okay. Say goodbye. Break out. 
es uh, un, 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 how can I say this? Un escapado. <laughs> prófugo, prófugo, exactly, that's the word, prófugo. Yes. But the, 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 the phrasal verb is break, break out. Separado, the phrasal verb, okay. This one has different, different definitions. Break out as a, as a, as a verb or as a phrasal verb. The first definition is when you are in a place and you take a person out of that place. That's break out. Sacar a alguien, break right? Out. Yes, illegally, but illegally, okay? Sacar a alguien, <laughs> yes, illegally, yes. But like I said, this is referring to prison, okay? It's in la cárcel, right? It's referring, it's referring to prison, yes. And also, okay. break out means escape, okay? Yes. Okay. And, and take out, take out uh, means saying that take no. out. No, take no. out is, is lit, lit, como así dice, take out. Sacar. Yes. Literal. Yes. Yes. For example, yes, take literally. out, take out the garbage. Take out the garbage. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we have workout exercise, right? Workout is exercise. Yes, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Now, do you want me to give you more, more phrasal verbs? Or what I can do, I can get a list. I can get a list of the new ones. I mean, the most common ones, because there's a list of common phrasal verbs. Okay. Okay. Um, I, you, can, you can try to give me some examples if you want to. I can I can listen to you and, and correct if you have, if you make a mistake. Okay. Right. Yes. Um. And the first one. Um. Yesterday, when I when I came from my work. Mm -hmm. No, from from my job. Yes, both are okay. From my job, my my motorcycle run out of gasoline. Okay, right. In that case, will be ran, 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 because we ran got the past time. We have the 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 one over here. Let me run. I think I chat run, 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 run. Es el presente. The past form right. is that one with A. Okay. That's the past form with A. And that one, eso suena como una A E. Ran, ran, run. Run, ran, ran. A E, ran. All right. Yes. And then present? No, run, run is the present with U. R U in is the, is the, 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 the. Okay. Is it ran? Okay. Ran. And the past form is ran, ran with A. Okay, ran. Okay. Okay, other example mm -hmm. could be uh, president, the president um, take off, take out, no, take off with, no, take out on, um, his uh, helicopter. The president take off on your helicopter. No, on his on his helicopter. His helicopter. Yes. Although we we have a problem there. Remember, if you are talking about the present, or if you're you if you're using the the present tense, you and you're talking about one person. In third person, you have to include or add the S to the verb. So you said the president takes takes off. Yes, he is mm -hmm. he is That's right. There, exactly. there's singular person, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay, maybe I use this. No, I use this pants up for a long time, no. 
you can say I used I used this fan up. It, remember, use up means desgastar, desgastar. right? Yes. Or or um, what's the first one I told yes. you? I like le dije antes, Juan, pero no me acuerdo. Es lo mismo. I can't remember. Put up, put up with. Mm -hmm. For put out, put out with. Sorry. Put up with. Mm -hmm. Put up with. Mm -hmm. What it means? You mean? Uh, it's tolerar, right? Yes. Put up with. Tolerate. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't, um, I don't put up my, uh, no, I don't put my mother-in-law up with. Okay. Let me just help you here. Preposi uh, phrasal verbs that contain two prepositions are not possible for separation. So basically. Ah, yes, right. For example, look, run, run out of, we cannot separate that one mm -hmm. because it has two prepositions. Okay, we, 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 can, we can separate with the noun just when they are with two prepositions, is right? One preposition. Yes, well, I say it's right. One preposition and one verb. Exactly. exactly. I can separate. And then yeah. when the phrasal verb have two prepositions, I don't have separate that with the noun. You cannot separate it, yes. But but there are some phrasal verbs that have only one verb and one preposition that cannot be separated. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. But remember, yes, most of them, most of them can be separated, okay. But the ones that contain two prepositions, that's not possible. Get along with, put up with, and uh, run out of, no. Okay. You can say drop me off. Okay. Take the gene off or the genes off. Uh, use the laptop app. Break the car down or break the class down. Bring your baby up. Break, uh, break him out. Like Sakalo, break him out, mm -hmm. work it out, and yes, we can separate all of them. Okay, teacher. This uh, this time will be a lot of useful, too useful. So thank okay. you for your time. I know what I pass the time. It's okay. Maybe it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Don't hour. worry. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yes. It's good. Oh, so thank you. Yes. So thank you for your All time, right. teacher. I'm going to I'm going to look for a list, okay? Yes, I'm going to look for a list of, of the most common phrasal verbs. I'm gonna I'm going to share it with you. And also I'm going to see if I can find a list of uh, the most common idioms. Okay. And I will share that those uh, those documents or those uh, files with you, okay? Yes. Hey, thank you, teacher. It will be so useful. All right. Thank you. Yes. I'm yes. grateful with you. Excellent, excellent. It's a pleasure, all right? Hey, I will see you on Monday. Okay, take care. Have a good weekend and enjoy, right? Yeah, God willing. Have a good night. Thank you, God willing. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay. See you then.